Uganda has had different struggles against injustices exhibited by those in power, but the struggles to push back has been led by young people since the percentage. Unfortunately, none of the leaders have kept their words uttered in the liberation struggles. They all turned on their words and betrayed on people. Amin's 18 points for overthrowing Obote, Museveni's 10 points program, have all proved to have been campaign lies rather than solemn promises. I think this is a fundamental change in the politics of our country. It is upon this background that Nomani Tumuhimbise and Robert Mayanja on 18th June 2014 stormed Uganda's parliament with two yellow well-colored swine in a protest against extravagant and greed legislators whose greed was equated to that of pigs that eat their own piglets. The animals were sneaked into the premises by these two youthful political activists despite heavy security at the three gates of the parliamentary buildings. Because we believe in creative activism, we sometimes use yellow pigs to, to bring out a picture that the leaders of this country were and are as greedy and corrupt as pigs. Butambala MP Mwanga Chivumbi alongside with fellow opposition MPs backed the action of the youth, saying they were frustrated with what they said was bad governance. I mean, these are brave Ugandans. That's the way to go. Uh, if if, if uh, the budget is bad on behalf of all uh, and, and the people are feeling terrible and bad, they must express it. That is non-violence. But what was quite interesting was that uh, the pigs were, uh, were in yellow. We are reviewing the footages that are actually there to get to establish the stage at which uh, uh, these piglets actually were smuggled into the parking area, the outer parking area of parliament. Having realized that the opposition and the ruling NRM legislators were dancing to the same tune, the team led by our operations coordinator, Luther Ferdinand, and Joseph Fulukwago on April 8th, 2015. They stormed the same premises with well-named tagged beautiful piglets colored in different political party colors. We believe in diversity of approaches and campaigns. That is to say, different injustices call for different tactics, which is why on 4th June 2018, a coffin peaceful demonstration by Luther Ferdinand and Achom Rebecca Adile followed the then unsolved rampart kidnaps and subsequent murder of women and girls around Kampala Metropolitan. As the alternative, we resolved to have a peaceful demonstration that was led and commanded by a one Achomu Beki, who leads the, 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 the female league in the alternative, to show discontent and disappointment about and against the parliament itself and the entire government. Because if we may remind the world, the president said one of the reasons for which he went to the bush was to fight such unjustifiable murders. Our advocacy for an inclusive and corrupt country has seen us engage in such activities, such as public interest litigation on issues like SIM card registration and lining up in LC elections, among others, in addition to non-violent demonstrations, including the presidential age limit removal, OTT, and mobile taxes. Activists, for them, they can give you surprises, they can do impromptu events, and they want you to respond regardless of your schedule. 
but also the things they do rub government the wrong way and uh, the government sometimes responds very strongly and decisively and the government function is are reluctant to, to offer the remedies that are provided within the law. <laughs> We have a activity ya overload. Is that is our way to try to get our popular gas. We Okokuta hamuna ekumentari nge, ekusovora, mwene ekubyuridi nga nkomu ntu ni waliwa ngu at least it is a good. Munguna kufara mezi, munguunazi tumukua wora. Munguwa tuwa nde constitution ya fe. Uganda has been ranked one of the most corrupt countries. Has many drunkard nationals and youthful beggars and gamblers. The rampant corruption foster section of our members jointly with the Uganda Youth Movement and the Red Top Brigade on 13th January of 2020 to storm the streets of Kampala in a mocking and satirical anti-corruption walk, ridiculing that of President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni of December 2019. <laughs> Distributing Black Monday new letters, bell sounding awakening calls, black overalls, in bare feet led by female soldiers, the activists castigated President Museveni's love for corruption when he walked with his corrupt group to celebrate corruption at Kololo airstrip and ours was the real anti-corruption walk. We want accountability for our money! We wanted to show the world that even women can do this. We can do what men can do. And when women front the thing, front an activity or front anything, their voices are heard. To kilizanti ensonga, buwebangi kwa tibuwa kwa mchala, kwa si feba nakaza debe guanga, message tu kama angu. Tuzo to our struggles is seeing, wababa deba, bami beba vayo, beba jane vogela, na atine beba vogela, te vogela kusonga zilu mafaba chala. Katifaba chala tuasa zewo, tuasi tukide, tuje, tu vogele kusonga zafe, ezi tuluma, kubanga faba zima nyo kusinga abagama, tibazi tu vogele la. Rachi tuwa gigenya prezi ni mseve, ni tukola the real anti-corruption war. Nti prezi ni mseve, yari alwa nisa anguzi. Chokate nga jarwa nisa antela, yari mufuzo kutu mwoneo, na hiteli nchu uka chuka. Because we subscribe to non-violent advocacy, our movement has been conducting various trainings on the same in-movement building trainings across the country. Much as we are known for our street actions and demonstrations, we believe that dialogue is one of the key factors for a better and inclusive country for all. Also go ahead and have dialogues of boardroom meetings, petitions. So our activism is, I mean, it has lots of ingredients, both street action, debates, TV, radio, and other platforms, and then dialogues in it though. We have in the recent times engaged in dialogues, and this is evident when we're together with Action Aid Uganda and ACFIM at Speak Resorts International Conference Centre Munyonyo, held a national symposium of April 11, 2019. We hosted over 1,000 participants across the globe and Kenyan jurist and professor Patrick Lumumba on money in politics. What we see in Africa is looting and theft on an industrial scale. In other words, the typical African politician impoverishes the people so that they may become attractive to them. You younger people are now in the business of betting whether one English football team will beat the other, which I discourage. We are in the same society where a young unemployed youth is lynched for snatching a phone worth ten dollars. And those cameras will always capture such a thief. But those cameras never capture politicians that march away with the sacks of billions. What a society. 
ahead of the country's celebrations of the 684th month's independence, 9th October 2019. As a movement, we did not celebrate with the rest of the nationals. Instead, we held a mediation public dialogue a day before to reflect whether the alleged independence was achieved or it was a rebrand from whites to black colonization. Each generation has its own challenges, which should be addressed according to the prevailing atmosphere. However, this can't and shouldn't be done in isolation of elders and experienced politicians. These two have appreciated our efforts to the redemption of our motherland. We are sending a very clear, very clear message to the, uh, to the Bushmen that this will not stop us from executing everything we need in this country. As that side, today we present to you the alternative policies of the Uganda we want as a generation. Because the consistency of Uganda's politicians' inconsistency is consistently consistent. Uh, it gives us powers and enough courage to continue advocating for what we believe belongs to us as a generation and as young people. But also, if I may remind all of us, as we all know, that the Uganda's student anthem used to say um, that we are the leaders of tomorrow's Uganda, blah, 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 blah. But then you wonder, we have grown up singing that very song for the past 35 or so years, and we continue to sing it even at this age. So that tells us that there is, there is that inconsistency of what even our leaders teach us, a, a reason why we always come to ask tough questions to the powers that be. And to say, just like any other um, rights advocate or any other activist's dream, is to live longer and see the fruits of our struggle. But even when we do not live longer, our prayer remains that our children gather the courage to go and pee onto the graves of those that will have tormented us as they salute our graves. So basically, we continue to believe that one day we shall have this dream come true and we believe as a movement that we shall one day provide alternatives. This auspicious expedition has been a success due to a competent, active, resilient, hardworking and patriotic brilliant generation of young people who most of them work behind the curtains across the country who are not limited to. The, the struggle continues. We have not been limited. You know, we've continued regardless you know, of the intimidation from, from, from the uh, from the state apparatus, we have succeeded, we have tried to push through. In every successful organization, communication is very key, and we take no exceptional to have a competent team led by Mokose Anud Anthony, Media Advocacy and Communications Coordinator. We need and desire a country that is inclusive of everyone, regardless of your political affiliation, your religious belief, your race, your tribe, or anything that brings about injustice. So this is alternative creating tomorrow, today, and this is us. Hamis Musokewal Simbi, in charge of internal communication and non-violence movement trainer. I joined the alternative having seen it being accommodative to all members of other political affiliations, that is FDC, DP, JEMA, NRM, UPC to mention, but a few. Nicholas Atuhaire, in charge of branding and Western coordinator. Join activism, don't fear, join, be inspired. Together we shall make it, we shall push until everything is done. The movement has been expanded to all parts of the country through vibrant and brilliant regional leaders, including Nagudi Asia. In charge of mobilization and non-violence movement trainer, or Tim Kennedy, coordinator Northern Region, Brian Magala, Bonyoro Regional Coordinator, Mukoli Saad, Busoga Regional Coordinator and Legal Coordinator, 
For us as alternative, we believe in being non-violent. We do our activities which are in a legal perspective. Atumereho Alex, Tashare Institution Coordinator. So when you keep doing the same things in the same way, you keep producing the same results. In Uganda, according to the past, we have been so much attached to the radical demonstrations. So that's why us as an alternative, we chose to come with a new style of using the non-violent struggle. Tumusime Kato, Deputy Tertiary Institution Coordinator. We don't believe in violent activism, but we believe in non-violent kind of activism. We are driven and motivated by the real, real pain, the visible pain. The corruption, poor governance, uh, human rights violations, poverty, unemployment among young people, um, to mention but a few.